today we're reviewing the Time A TPMS Tire Pressure Monitoring System. TPMS, that's what that means. So uh, we'll start by unboxing. So when you open it up, you can see that it comes with some quick insulation guide uh, and also the, the instruction, instruction manual and some other things. Uh, charging cord. You'll need these uh, to mount the actual gauges. Um, these are dust covers that cover the, uh, the each one of the gauges. Also, uh, it comes with this cord. If your trailer, if you have a 40-foot trailer, a trailer that's really long, and the, um, the tires are too far away from the receiver, you may have to install this to basically uh, extend the signal. And then um, you also get this. These are, after a while, that you'll have to replace the batteries that are in the, uh, in the gauges. And then, um, so you will get the actual monitor. And then they'll give you this rubber pad that you can stick on your dash, so, and then set this on uh, so that it won't slip and go all over the place. For us, we have like a little rubber mat on the dashboard already, so we'll be fine. Now, the first time you use this, you'll have to charge it, but after you charge it for the first time, uh, it's solar powered. So if it's on your dash, it should run on solar power. And then, of course, all the, the gauges you can see in there. And uh, so this is kind of set up for a dually truck, uh, so you can monitor six tires, but uh, you can definitely use it for a camper as well. All right, let's go outside and install them. All right, so uh, we're ready to install the gauges. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm on the right hand side of the, the vehicle. I'm gonna start with R1. On the very first tire closest to my truck, that will be R1. Uh, for doing that, um, you'll have to, they give you a bag of nuts here and some O-ring, rubber O-rings, those are for later on when you have to change the battery in the uh, gauge. You may need to replace the O-ring. So I've already uh, put this nut on. I'm going to go ahead and install R1. A little bit of uh, air will leak at first, but not much. Yep, that's about it. Okay, so install it. And what you're going to do is take the little wrench that they give you. I can hear it beeping. It's <laughs> like, what is that? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the wrench and tighten that jam nut back onto the uh, onto the gauge like that. So now, uh, now it's on there. So it's beeping at me because it's saying that I have high pressure. I just need to change the uh, monitor to read the pressure that I want. And the way you do that is you hit uh, set in the top, hold that for three seconds, it says. And then you can change the pressure uh, here. Okay, so now it's on PSI. So you're just gonna say, okay, that's what you want. Uh, don't want bar PSI, then hit set. Uh, now temperature, either in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I want it in Fahrenheit, hit set. Now what's your high pressure? Uh, so you'll have to take a look at your tires and see what they're rated for, and uh, that's where you'll set your pressure. For these tires, um, it says 80 PSI. So I'm going to set this uh, for 85 PSI. We'll start there. And of course, uh, personally here in the south, if it's, uh, you're, you're better off to have it a little below the uh, max PSI uh, because of the heat. I, I'm gonna, my tires are at 77. They're, they could be set at 80. Hit set. Now the low tire pressure. So I'm gonna set the low pressure, uh, tire pressure for 75. 
That might be a little too low. We'll find out as we go. Oop, 35. Hit set. And now the back ones. So I hit that. Pick that back up to 80. Um, 85. Set. 75 for low. Very exciting. Oh, went too far. Set. Do it again. Set. There we go. You could just hold it. That's way better. Set. There we go. We're all good. All right. Uh, so um, that's about all there is to it, really. Um, after we get this done, uh, we'll. Uh, we're not going to be pulling a trailer anywhere today, so we're not going to actually be able to use this, but we'll have it set up for our next trip out. I'm uh, hoping that this video helps somebody out. Um, have a great day.